Guys, the everyday sea lots stands. Um, a full Christmas. I got something, I think it was last year, and I haven't opened it yet. So I wanted to do it today um, while my mommy's at daycare. So I'm going to show you what I've got. It's, it's um, rock painting, but special edition. Glow in the dark rock painting. Um, there's lots of designs and there's also um, a book in there where it teaches you how to paint eight designs that are really good, like these ones. So it's like, it, these are glow in the dark ones. So it includes four rocks, four article paint, glow in the dark paint, a paintbrush, a dotting tool, and a 24 page book. Um, so I'm really excited, so I'm just going to start opening it. Upside down. These oh, rocks. They're really smooth. I wonder who picked these rocks. They're, like... they're really cold, aren't they? Yeah, because I haven't opened this in about a year, so. So we got white, yellow, black, blue, and I think this might be this is the special glow in the dark one. Whoa. I think some of the so you do the normal colours and then you can see the bits that glow, you do them with that special paint there. Maybe you paint with the regular paint and then Use this and paint over. No, I think you actually do that, but. But we'll just see. Yeah. There's instructions in here, so. Um. How about we pause while we have a look and get everything ready? Yes. And we'll be right. Okay, so we are back and we have our lids of our paint. So we got yellow, white, black, blue, and then glow the dark. So what you do is on the picture, not everything on the rock is going to glow. You're just going to paint a picture <coughs> and then maybe do, use that one to do an outline and it makes that, whatever you paint that with, it makes it glow. So if you just paint the whole thing, it's going to ruin your drawing. So you can't, you can't just, you know, paint the whole thing. So we're just going to get into it. and. Lots of these things are really hard, so I can't really do it. Yeah, so some of the designs that we found in the book are a little bit advanced, like these sort of things. Uh, there's a unicorn one that I really want to do. But... Really hard. So we've decided that we're just going to do any design that you like because you don't have to follow the instructions. And they give you a nice little paintbrush and... A dotting. What's that one, What's that one for? A dotting... Um, Things to do dots, like if you're gonna um, like do a circle, a heart, or a circle with dots or anything. Like, and of course, we've got our water. Yeah, just for to rinsing. We don't want to mix the colors together and then make every paint have another color with it. And of course, we have a roll of paper towel. Just in case we get messy. Yes, because we don't want to get messy, do we? So let's, just get let's go. Which one? Which rock are you gonna choose? This one. That one. Oh, that's a good shape. You're just going to do some kind of design. Yeah. <coughs> this is going to be uh, a hard. Let's see that. These are quite smooth stones too. Imagine if we use just normal ones. Yeah, they would be too hard to paint. And but because there's so, so much paint in these and you don't use much, I think we'll have to go on a rock hunt. Yeah, so guys, if you ever get like a rock painting community and you run out of rocks to paint, go on a hunt and find smooth rocks and you can paint them as well so you don't just have to paint the ones that paint. Yeah, because you only get four in the packet. As long as they're nice and smooth, 
be Maybe we could find some really big ones too, I think. Yeah, so we could do more on it. Yeah, do a big picture or something. Maybe we could go on a rock hunt later. <gasps> Maybe. Yeah. Let's have a look here. Wow. And they come in with a different So here's my finished product. Hopefully that M in the middle there will glow later. Well, we'll just have to dry them and see how we go. Though. I haven't used yellow yet. Um, and I have my rock painting and mix some colors together. So on the black, underneath is blue and on the top and also underneath the blue there's yellow. So and then I mixed it to see what it would turn out. Okay guys, so we're back and we're just putting the lights on them for me to show you how they glow and it's night time now. So you just have to put them under our torch here. Okay, we're about to turn the flash off. Five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one, glow. Wow. Some of them didn't show up as well as others. Well, I'll flash back on for a minute. Let's put, so you can see the M there that I did. Let's see if it shows up a bit better. Not as good as did before, but they do need to stay under the light for a while. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you guys out.